Hi, Stefan Bonner here alongside my color man, Mr. Zach Bunnell, and uh, we're at the weigh-ins here for Bay Area Combat. Big night of fights tonight, and this is going to be a sold-out arena tonight. I'm really excited. Last time it was bumping, and big reason for that is um, the girls' fight, really popular girls' fight on the card. We got Carly Lombardo versus Nashi Ramirez to my left, and... Um, yeah, you two know each other pretty well. I know um, Carly said, I think we might have fought before in PKB, which is point kickboxing, way back in the day. How many years ago was that? Not too long not too long ago. Yeah, I don't, and honestly, I don't have a date in my head. I don't got a date. Just and know and you don't even remember. You go, I think we might have. It's like me saying, yeah, I think I might have fought John Jones. Don't quite remember that. Oh, no, oh, no we have. I asked yeah. her the fight. So you definitely have fought before. Definitely so, have. so this is a different sport. Um, is that going to change anything? Game plans? You've never seen each other's jujitsu grappling game. Could we expect to see any of that out of you? I would say so myself. Yeah. What about you? What are you thinking? I'm down. If it goes that way. It goes that way. All right. Where uh, where you've been focusing uh, just in terms of your camp and the preparation for this fight with your training? You think you've been doing a, a pretty balanced amount of groundwork and stand up? It's, it's been definitely balanced. It's been a lot more balanced than it had been previously. And um, yeah, definitely feeling more comfortable. Hey, Carly, what about yourself? I'd say we work everything all the time. I mean, yeah, everything. So, Carly, your daughter's name is Giovanna. I take it you're Italian. I'm Sicilian. So, Sicilian. <laughs> yeah, didn't mean to insult no, you there. it's okay. <laughs> struck me as the Naples type. But <laughs> I've actually been there. Has there been uh, anything you'd say different in this camp, preparation for this right now, and this, this fight, Carly, for yourself, that's been different than anything else? I would just say a lot more sparring, um, bigger opponents, just bigger, smaller opponents, just a lot more sparring. Has there been anything you've been focusing on in sparring in particular? Um, I mean, yeah, there is, but I don't want to kind of expose it. Yeah, I can dig it. You How could always lie and just you know yeah, throw totally it off the center. Spinning a heel bit. kicks <laughs> or your axe kicks. <laughs> I'm gonna just. Yeah, keep it there, in Alaska. That's smart. What about yourself? Training been the same, normal, or you been doing anything different for this training camp? Just trying to get back more, more well-rounded on everything rather than just focusing super heavy on one thing in particular, just trying to make sure that everything's evenly distributed. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and Nashi, cool, cool. you're a tattoo artist. Yes, I am. I have nasty tattoos. Nasty tattoos? Yep. Nasty Nashi. What a cool nickname. Thank you. Appreciate it. And can we give you one? The Chronic Queen. Chronic Queen. That's right. I can dig it. That's a great one. Two great nicknames. We're really excited to have you two fight on the card. Uh, crowd's gonna be going nuts for you too. You got to be a little hungry. How was the weight cut? Oh, I'm not champ weight. It was it was perfect. You're you're not suffering with like the your voice ringing inside your ears when you <laughs> super dehydrated. Nah, no. I've only seen it's been through worse. Yeah, that's not a good feeling. I hate when people ask me Lord. questions after I cut a bunch of weight. <laughs> it was always my favorite. <laughs> It's just start giving the best insults during you after weight cutting or anything. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. Get oh, creative man. with it. Well, we're, we're excited to have you, too. I'm looking forward to this fight. We got Carly Lombardi, Nashi Ramirez. Tune in. Um, where can we see this one, Zach? It's going to be on View Stub. Yeah, on View Stub. It's just $20. Uh, just pop on there. Um, Is that an app or a website? Yeah, it's website. I probably, I'm sure it's an app form as well. And, uh, but go you, check it out. Probably easier to get the app. Go to the Play Store, get the View Stub app. That's V I E W S T U B. View Stub. You're not going to want to miss it. And come on, help support this show. You know, it's not, no one's getting rich off this. So uh, 20 bucks. That's support it. Support a good show. Help these local fighters come up and, uh, you know, get uh, a. a uh, fight for a, a good venue like this and, and get it on the resume. Yeah, this is where you get to see uh, stars before they're born, is right now on shows like this. $20 is nothing, guys. Jump on there. Two and exciting up-and-comers, straw weights, the one girl's fight of the evening. We're really looking forward to it. Thanks for your time, Nashi. Yeah, Mother's Day weekend, and we put a lot on the line. So. Yeah. yeah. Go eat some, mothers. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Go eat some, ladies. Get some food, get some drink back in you right now for sure. Thanks, you too. Thanks, Thank Carly. you, guys. Thank you.
Hi, Stefan Bonner here alongside my co-host Zach Bunnell. Thanks for tuning into the weigh-in special here at Bay Area Combat. And right now we're talking to our co-main event in the evening, the Bantamweight division. We got Michael Sullivan to my right with the dreads, taking on Alan Solanic. Silhanic. Silhanic. I knew I'd mess that one up. To the left, and uh, yeah, I got a co-main event. And Michael, first, let me start with you. Um, you ever worry about your hair getting pulled or wrapped up or anything like that? Like, I liked having long hair back in the day, but it was definitely harder to fight. And then when you get hit, it flops around more. Do you hear uh, anyone say, why do you wear that long hair in there? Not, not during the fights too much because I wrap it up pretty tight. But uh, during training and sparring, like, it gets in the way a lot because, you know, I'm a lot more loose with it. I use way less headbands. And uh, harder to pop out of guillotines with it and stuff like that, I'd imagine? Or? Um, actually, not, not, not too bad because, uh, like I said, when I'm training, it's, a, it's not really so stationary. So I'm able to wiggle around with it, but in, uh, in, in the fight, and you I, gotta... I, haven't, I haven't had to worry about it yet. You got a tough opponent here. What have you been doing to prepare differently for this fight? Anything uh, you've been focusing on in training? Um, well, I know that he's a he's all around game fighter. So I've just been making sure I have, have uh, all my uh, eyes dotted and T's crossed. Yeah, both you guys very well rounded. And uh, Alan, tell me a little something about how you've been prepping for this fight. Uh, we're disciplined in all aspects, like I said in my last interview. Um, we're prepared for wherever the fight goes. I'm ready to stand and bang. I'm ready to wrestle. I'm ready to grapple. I'm ready to <clears throat> show him some jiu-jitsu. I'm ready for whatever. So you got? Oh, go ahead, Zach. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Let me uh, let me start with you too, Alan. Uh, is there anything that you would say you do in your daily prep that um, you have maybe done differently for this fight, or is everything still remain pretty the same with your training? Uh, you added anything new into this in, into this camp? No, it's, it's been consistent training on all aspects. Um, Monday through Saturday, it's kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, sparring, wrestling, grappling. We do all of it. Right on, right on. And uh, same question to you, Mike. Uh, just anything in terms of this camp in general that you've trained differently from the norm? Or are you still getting all your same reps in, regular process that you're just going through for this camp as well? Mostly, uh, mostly, yeah, just making sure we get the routine in, um, just be staying consistent. Uh, trying to work on being a little more flowy in this fight. Um, maybe show a little bit more of my, of, my, uh, of my fighting ability. Got you. All right, all right. And then uh, back to you, Alan. I'll ask both of you guys the same question again, but just with uh, is there any, anything different you've done in terms of the preparation of cardio for this fight? Have you, do you ramp it up when it comes you know, closer to – to the fight, are you always staying consistently in shape? You know, I've been staying consistently in shape, but of course, you got that when it gets closer to fight week, and <clears throat> you know, it's the energy. The energy goes up. But again, I've been taking this very serious since I've been started training again, and um, it's game time tonight, and That's I'm getting up. that done. You like uh, cardio been going well for this? Are you uh, you ramp it up? You kind of always in shape, or yeah, yeah, I'm a high volume guy, so you know, we're always. Trying to, trying to fight at the, our top. Right, 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 right on. Okay, okay. You guys got the co-main main event spot. I mean, it's a huge spotlight. We have a sold-out crowd going to be here packing the house tonight. There's got to be a little pressure to make it uh, more entertaining. And I know, Michael, you consider yourself an entertainer. Do you feel like you owe it to the fans to really put on a show? Oh, definitely, definitely. Anybody that, that's willing to support us and give us their views, they, they deserve uh Something, something to be excited about. And you, Alan? Oh yeah, it's in me to just entertain and and put out on a great fight. It's I'm gonna keep coming. I'm gonna keep coming this fight, and I'm looking to take him out. So both these guys are a little insecure and think they owe it to you guys to really put on a show. You're not gonna want to miss this one. If you can't make it, no problem. It's sold out anyway. There, we are selling standing room tickets at the door, but. You could always watch from home at viewstub.com or on the app at viewstub. Yeah, guys, just 20 bucks. This is going to be a banger of a card. I mean, we have a stack night of jiu-jitsu and MMA, some of the best in California in terms of amateurs, and uh, this card's going to be incredible. 20 bucks for this many fights. You heard it from Michael and Alan. They're guaranteeing fireworks, so you're not going to want to miss it. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, fellas.
Welcome back to the Bay Area Combat Weigh-In Special. Got a big night of fights tonight. Sold out arena. A big part of that reason it's sold out is this guy right here, the defending champ, Raul Quintero. And let me just start with you, Raul. Um, you're defending your title here. You're fighting here at home, and you sold a ton of tickets. How are you dealing with all the stress the week of the fight with everyone asking you for tickets and all the distractions? You just got to deal with it. You know, it comes to the territory. You seem like you're pretty chipper today. So has it been like that all week, or have you been a sourpuss? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> um, you know, I got some, some people who support and, and got my back, so that really takes the pressure off. But, yeah, I mean, it's not, not an easy task walking out here and, and uh, you know, stepping in the cage and, and dealing with all the nerves and the pressure, you know. But, yeah, everything's going good. And you are quite the man around here. You got your uh, your jujitsu school, jujitsu therapy. We know you do floors and tiles, and you're also a, a pretty seasoned fisherman. And how how do you balance all of that? Why are you tuna fisherman, right? Salmon. Salmon. That's hey, right. Hey, hey. They're uh, river go. fish, so you're not in the ocean. Well, we're in the ocean. Yeah, I mean they 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 head out and uh, and you know they grow and and then they come back in the uh, the rivers and the streams to spawn. So. Yeah, right now we're, we're trying to catch them before they head back. That's, uh, I used to eat a bag of that every morning until I heard <laughs> about the mercury content. But I've got a good 10, 15 years of doing it. But let's talk about the fight. you got to defend your belt tonight. And both of you guys have fought at 145 before, but you didn't have to cut the extra 10 pounds. You're uh, defending your belt at 155 pounds. And tell me how the preparation's been. It's good. I mean, you know... Um, my probably my natural body weight, my frame is is designed for uh, for a smaller weight class, so I didn't really have any issue cutting the weight. I met up with Toasty um, earlier on this week to give him some tickets, and he just looked lethargic and a little bit like frail. So I was like, man, don't make the guy cut the weight. Let him fight at 155. Um, I'm down to 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 weigh 155. And, yeah. Well, you didn't have to cut the extra 10 because uh, he looked so lethargic and weak. But you've been really busy. Uh, you've been fighting a lot lately. You had a fight three weeks ago, another fight three weeks before that. And how have you been dealing with that, the toll of uh, constantly fighting and, and uh, you know, maybe being a little overtrained? Do you feel any of that? I feel none of that, actually. Um, I Knock on wood for now. Um, I haven't felt... Um, any kickback from the amount of fights I've had. I haven't really felt the the drain of training. I, my training partners definitely have been feeling it. Like they've been falling off one by one in terms of like how much they can get into the gym every week. But you know, I'm I'm definitely still there. Um, I've had a fight every single month since November, other than December because there's all Christmas and stuff like that in there. But I've had a fight every single month, um, almost three weeks in between every single time. Um, it's almost like my training is just getting another fight in there. Right. Yeah, I was just going to ask that. So everything's just been staying same to same week to week pretty much on since you've just been rolling one into the other. Or have you been trying to train differently, you know, based off even though you'll have a little time for preparation within that that small window. But have you changed things up between each because you have a new opponent each time or that that's the change is like what you're training for. It's not like, you know. Oh, we're gonna come in this day, this amount of days of the week instead of this amount of days of the week. It's more just like what we're training when we're there. We're there every day of the week. Though. Yeah, totally. Yeah, because uh, I know I know what you're saying. For me, that, that's how it was you know with Muay Thai fights coming up, you kind of have the the flow of what's gonna go on every time. But MMA is so different for you know fights, just because man, you could be fighting a totally different kind of person and a grappler as opposed to a striker. So. You know, have you have you been seeing a plethora of opponents, just different kind of opponents since you've uh, had so many? Between the first fight and this fight, there's probably the most similar two. Uh, the first guy was very jits based. Uh, Raul's very jits based. Um, I've had one guy that was very uh, stand up based, and then I've had a guy that was very wrestling based. So yeah, I've, I've definitely had a, a plethora of different opponents. And then Raul, to you, man, since the last fight, you know, which we're at commentating for, have you changed anything in training at all? Everything been pretty pretty go right into the you know next training camp yeah i mean the only thing different is the the next bathroom that i've been setting tile in so i can dig it yeah. <laughs> so now um well raul everyone knows your jujitsu and submission game is probably your biggest strength and andrew you remind me of kind of a, a mini couture you uh, you have that grinding style good greco rope uh, wrestling and 
good underhook knee tap. And uh, sometimes when we see two grapplers of that level, um, the wrestling kind of cancels each other out and we get a banger. We just saw that with Gilbert Burns and Shimonev. And stylistically, um, this has the makings that, uh, for that kind of fight. What are your guys' thoughts on, uh, you know, maybe giving the fans a, a stand-up banger? I mean, I, I'm I'm more than willing to go anywhere. Uh, I, I feel that your thought process is probably very accurate in terms of, like, our grappling will probably cancel out each other, at least not in terms of, like, gifs, but, like, my scrambles to keep it coming up, my wrestling to keep it from coming going down um, will we'll do a good job of keeping it standing, and then we'll just see what happens there. And Raul, any preference to where this fight goes? Not really. I mean, uh, I've definitely been working up my, my stand-up more than, uh, than, than you know, uh, I'd say probably grappling. Um, I've had a lot more experience in grappling than, than striking, so uh, I just kind of wanted to equal it out a little bit. So, yeah, I've been focusing a little bit more in, in the uh, kickboxing classes. So we're ready. Well, main event, Bay Area Combat. Don't forget to check out viewstub.com or go get the app, Viewstub. Support these guys. 20 bucks. 20 bucks is it, guys. Going to be some great fights. This is the main event. Sold out place. Uh, going to be going nuts. Last time, I could feel the bleachers and the floor shaking a little bit oh, when you came out. A lot of great energy for it. So really excited uh, to see you guys go at it today. Yeah, I can't wait for you guys. Any fun. final thoughts? No. Thanks for, uh, thanks for taking the fight, Toasty. Absolutely. Uh, shout out to uh, the, the arena that we're in. If you can get a seat in this yeah. place, it is phenomenal no matter where you're sitting. This place is definitely going to be rowdy. Oh, the energy is going to be nuts tonight. Santa Cruz Civic Auditorium, not a bad seat in the house. We are sold out, but we still have standing room tickets available. If you come to the door tonight without a ticket, we'll get you in here. Don't you worry about it. If you can't make it, you can watch from home. 20 bucks is all it costs. And that's viewstub.com or get the app called Viewstub. V-I-E-W-S-T-U-B. But get here, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz's finest Bay Area combat main event for the 155-pound title. Raul Quintero against Andrew Toasty. What did they toss at the tea party? They toss tea. I just said it wrong, but I corrected myself there. Not going to want to miss it. Tune in. We'll see you tonight. Thanks, guys.